Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about uh, genetic markers. They belong to the genera called molecular markers. So what are genetic markers or molecular markers? You know genetic markers or molecular markers are repeated DNA sequences or repeated nucleotide sequences that are present throughout our genome or any other organism if you take. They are present throughout the genome, mostly in case of eukaryotic organisms. So those repeated units are very, very important for us to determine the specific genetic makeup of that organism, right? So let's say in you and in me, in both these cases, if you see, our genetic material will be this uh, very, very similar because we are human beings and same group. But if you, if, uh, if, the, if you take the DNA and check it, you'll find the repeated unit in your genome uh, is varied with the repeated units that is present in my genome. So these variable repeated units of nucleotide sequences are very important uh, to figure out the genetic makeup of our body. So we can use them as a genetic barcoding system or we can also use it for a DNA fingerprinting assay which can be very much useful for detection of diseases and also very much useful for the forensic science and forensic applications. So now let's see uh, the genetic markers in most of the cases means uh, they are belonging to the variable number tandem repeats. We call VNTR, variable number tandem repeats. What does that mean? Tandem repeat means they are consecutive repeats of nucleic acids. If you take two nucleic acids like A and T, there will be consecutive repeats of that nucleic acid. So AT, 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 AT. So consecutive repeats of AT will be present there. So these consecutive repeats of AT why variable number? Because if you take three different individuals, individual 1, 2 and 3, what will you see? In case of say individual 1, AT, this repeat presents 5 times, okay, repeat present 5 times. In individual 2, the repeat presents, uh, so actually in individual 1, the repeat presents 4 times, in individual 2, it presents 5 times, and in individual 3, it presents only 3 times, so 3 repeats only. So if you see this number of repeats that are present, may vary from different individuals. So this varied property will give a specific characteristic tone to, to that person only. That's why we can use them as a genetic fingerprint. Okay. So this is called VNTR. Now there are multiple types of uh, VNTR that are available. So if we divide VNTR, there are two different types of VNTR sequence that we get in the genome. One is called as a microsatellites. You know, microsatellite means these are also variable number tandem repeats, but the repeat sequence will be 2 to 5 base pairs long, only 2 to 5 base pairs long. But in case of uh, other thing, like more than 5 base pair long repeats may also found, and we call them mini satellites. So mini satellites are longer satellites, or longer DNA repeated elements, longer VNTRs compared with the microsatellites. So that's what. Uh, belongs to the VNTR and that's what we talk from, think about VNTR. Now why this VNTR or why this sequence are important because you know the example of microsatellite if I give you SSR simple sequence repeat. So see AT repeats multiple time repeats present simple sequence repeat can be present. Now let's say uh, in this drawing actually I let me erase that and draw it again. Let's say these are the normal DNA and these are the repeated elements normal normal repeated elements and so so this is the repeated elements simple sequence repeats right and this is another simple sequence repeats now in between two simple sequence repeats there are specific again there are some nucleotides present in the middle so in between two SSR whatever sequence present in the middle we call them ISSR or interspersed simple sequence repeats so this ISSR can also be used as another type of genetic marker right now why these genetic markers are useful? These genetic mar markers are useful for, as I have told you, for the detection of any genetic disorder. Or we can also use it for marker assisted selection in plant, plant breeding. Because for the breeding of plant, we want to select specific characteristics which are advantageous, like drought tolerant, right, for example. So let's say whenever there are five stretch of AT uh, sequence present in the VNTR region throughout the plant, those plants tend to have better drought tolerance property. So if we just take the genotype of the plant, if we just sequence the gene and know the gene pattern of the plant, gene fingerprinting or DNA fingerprinting of the plant, we can easily determine whether the plant we are going to choose or not, whether the plant is going to serve our purpose or not. So we can do that directly without 
uh, putting the plant into the field and checking throughout the generations which is really tedious. So the task become much less uh, problematic so it, it becomes much less uh, problematic and it's systemic uh, to answer and, and to do these problems. So that's why uh, genetic markers are very very useful things in molecular biology and also there are other markers present. Molecular markers is a large and it's a large variety among them genetic markers is one of the stuff uh, in other molecular markers there could be cell surface receptors and so many different things but this video is uh, specially on genetic markers so I hope this helps you to understand what are genetic markers and you know uh, nowadays we can detect this genetic marker uh, presence of genetic markers using different molecular techniques there could be PCR based techniques or PCR less techniques but there are techniques available like AFLP, RFLP, RFPD and many more different types of techniques are available nowadays to select and find specific genetic markers in the genome and then uh, get our uh, whatever we need with that right so that's all about the genetic markers if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and also uh, share this video with your friends thank you